Today we're gonna take a look at how to get grid lines in your video editor. Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos and this channel is all about helping you create better videos so you can build your brand. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe right now so you don't miss a thing. All right, grid lines, this is something that I haven't been able to turn on in my video editor, which is Final Cut Pro X. I don't know if you can do it in Adobe Premiere or other ed editing programs that are out there, but I know that I, you know, I haven't been able. I, I would search for it and there seems to be no solution for it. So why are grid lights important? Because you might have heard of the rule of thirds where it's good to keep yourself dead center whenever you're talking to the camera or maybe you just want to stand a little bit to the side or on this side because that's where our eyes are drawing to. You, you got to follow the lines, right? Uh, what's frustrating sometimes is that I've been shooting interviews or even making videos of myself and sometimes I stand a little bit to the side and then there's this extra room, so I'm not dead center. I'm having to crop in and make sure I stand dead center. So grid lines is something that I decided uh, I need to figure out. That way I can, I don't have to guess because when you don't have them, you're just guessing by what you're, you know, what looks right. Anyways, I wanna show you my solution to this. So let's jump over to the computer and show you how to get grid lines in your video editor. Okay, so let's quickly run over this. We are in Final Cut Pro X, but just remember that this tutorial will work with any video editing program. So right off the camera, this is pretty centered. So maybe this is a bad example, but sometimes I like to triple check to make sure that I am exactly dead center. Uh, other times I like to crop in, let's say uh, I do a jump cut, I like to zoom in. So I do a scale in and I move the Y axis down a little bit like this. Uh, so how do we check that I'm still dead center? Well, it should be, right? Let's triple check that. I have a PNG file I created. This is, uh, I created this in Photoshop. So I just drop it here into my editor. And guess what? I get these, uh, these uh, rule of thirds lines. And it seems I'm pretty dead center. But what if I wanted my face to fall within one of these intersections right here? I can do that. That's, that's one of the uh, rules of the rule of thirds. So let's shift the X axis to the left. And there you go, my face falls right here. Now, let's say I wanted to bring in some text, I can drop it in here, I created space. So that's one of the reasons you might wanna have this uh, grid lines. The other way I use this grid lines is to make sure that when I bring in a generator, like a text generator, that this falls right in the center because, let, let's see, like, like this one, I got offline and whenever I move it around, it doesn't really tell me if I'm in the center. So I can use these guidelines to tell me if, you know, if I'm, if my text is falling in the center. Let's see, and that looks pretty dead center right there. Uh, now I can disable the grid lines by hitting the, B, selecting it and then the V button and it deselects it. Now, if I wanted to export this, I could and the grid lines would not show because they're deactivated. You can also reactivate them and use them, in, just move it around if you're gonna use it in different parts of your videos. There you have it guys, that's how you get grid lines in your video editor. If by default, you can't turn them on. I know in Final Cut Pro X you can't. I don't know about Adobe or DaVinci or other ed editing programs that are out there. So if you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so because I'm making videos like this every week. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.